Okay, here's your 10 more refrigerator. Nice and clean. A freebie. Man, it's getting cold. But, what I had to do, what the problem is, this thing has a electronic thermostat control defrost timer in here. There's these two screws that hold this in place and it's under there. It's a little control board. But uh, anyway, I had a problem with that. When I plugged it in, it would not come on immediately. So, you can pick one of these up. They're only like 10 bucks on eBay. This is basically the start, run, and overheat uh, relay. You can buy uh, the hard start relays, which hook in a little bit easier than these do. And what I had to do on this particular one, I had to cut, cut this edge back a little bit because it wouldn't seat in there perfect. Now this is another one I've got in there. You can see I've got the wires here plugged in there and it's coming right on. Of course, it's not gonna power anything else because it's direct to the comp um, compressor. But we can see that this thing would work. So this is how you can tell uh, if it's a major problem or not. If your compressor's running and when you plug this in separately, basically what we're doing is we're isolating the circuit. We're running the 110 voltage directly into this and bypassing the thermostatic control up in front. And so that's how you can tell if it's a major problem. Defrost timer right in here. So if we take these bolts off here, and I'll take a look at it. Okay, so this one, there's the defrost timer control here, and it actually has service mode where apparently this button here, you do like a Morse code and it tells you kind of a little bit about the machine here. Okay, so beeps, we got, if we got beeps, Okay, so what does it say? It says normal cooling mode. Press door switch three times, hold fourth time until the long beep. Enter service mode. Manual defrost. Test compressor. So this is not going to do this because basically it's there's no light on. The light doesn't come on. So apparently it's not getting any electricity. The light doesn't come on when you open the door. Normally when it's plugged in and the light doesn't come on then then uh, then there's some major loose connection somewhere. So I'm not sure exactly how to get this thing off, but we'll figure it out. And then this is also, what ha this is the defrost drain here, see? Uh, the uh, defrost uh, water comes from the freezer down into this compartment here. And what happens is if you look up here and you see water dripping on that thing, that means that this little drain here is plugged up here. What happens, you can see there's a little bit of mold and stuff here. It will, it will accumulate right around here and then clog this up and back up and it would cause it to drip and then you have drips. If you do have drips, you definitely want to check your seals as well. Um, and then also this defrost drain here, you got to make sure that's all clear. There's no, you can't have any ice built up in there. It comes right off. I've got these little clips here on the side. You just kind of push it apart and it'll come apart. And then this board just clipped in as well. So this board, I'm looking at it, I don't see any burnt connections on it, which which would be good. Uh, then we could resolder. Um, but the you know, burnt connections would be likely up here in the, uh, the high voltage section up here. But all those connections look good. So, I'm thinking this board may have to be replaced to make this work correctly. I actually have, I think I have an old one of these, the solid state style, but I'm not sure if the plug would interchange. If we look at this board, we see all the caps look good. They got flat heads. If you got bulge capacitors, then that's a telltale sign. And I think, I think what it's going to be is probably going to be this relay right here, which I could probably get inter, uh, 
and try and replace that relay. That's going to be that's going to be taking most of the juice right there. That's okay. We're going to plug this plug this in directly now. Uh, okay, so we got to take the old uh, we got to take the old uh, relay off here and put the and put the see, this is the new one. This is the new relay. We're going to put the old relay back on. And then we're going to plug it in directly to the socket and see what it does. Here's the cord right here. Okay, so let's see what it says. It says uh, normal cool cooling mode. Uh, press the door switch three times, hold down until the beep. Okay, three times. Press the door switch three times and hold the fourth until a long beep. One, two, three, four, and we got no beeps, so I'm pretty sure this board's shot, pretty sure. And the other thing I could do is check the voltage going into it. Likely the voltage is going to be this black and blue wire. But at this point, we're just scroping. Okay, there it is. Um, so this, what I did is I put a new plug on it. I put, I wired the wires, I bypassed the original plug here. And I wired up to where I found there was no juice. And so we can double check this here to see if we have juice at this plug here as well. But it's kind of hard to do with one hand, so I'm not going to do it. We got that fan running there. And then we got... Right in there. Good to go. And... See, this fan... It's supposed to have a fan running. It may not run until it gets down to a certain temperature. I might leave it plugged in for the night and see how it does. Yeah, this... There's no fan running now. I, so I may have a problem with that fan as well. And then this... This is supposed to have a piece of fire-resistant cardboard over it. Basically, it goes over this edge, this square part here. This is screened, so nothing crawls in there. So what I'll do is I'll just take and cut a piece of cardboard, put it over this, leave this open. And that's the way I got it. It's running now. So yeah, it can be easy. Not as complicated as you think sometimes. It had a good start relay. It's just somewhere in this original wire, it was not making a complete circuit. It may have got pinched down here or something. It's definitely not open. So, uh, yeah. Lucked out on this one. Okay, there's the fan. I can hear it now. That fan may only come on at a certain temperature because this has a uh, computer controlled brain. That fan, that fan may be a 12 volt fan and only come on at a certain temperature. This fan right here, I believe, is a 110 fan. I'd have to look at it. But what I used to do is I'd hook the 110 directly up to that fan line to test them. But now they have these smaller fans that may be 12 volt, I don't know. I believe this is a 110 volt fan right here. But I know some of the ones in the, in the freezer compartment are uh, like 12 volt, 24 volt kind of things. So you got to be careful when you test those. 